Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you two different ways to achieve pretty much the same design and then you can decide which way you like better. I definitely know which one I prefer but obviously you can pick whichever you like. The design I will say I found on Pinterest and I'll link that below. Um, so for this first uh, technique I start with a base of just a pale pink, obviously you can use whatever colour you want, all the colours that I use will be listed below. And I did two coats of this and fully cured. Now I'm taking the tacky layer off that. You want to make sure that you thoroughly take off that tacky layer, get right into the side walls and up into the um, eponychium and get all in there and re thoroughly remove that tacky layer. So now I'm going in with a bronze polish and um, I'm pretty much just painting the shapes where I want my glitter to be. So this technique works for pretty much any design where you want a shaped glitter piece. If you wanted a square, a triangle, a star, a heart, you would use this technique. Um, just change the polish color to match your glitter. So I'm using like a rosy gold glitter, which is why I'm using a bronze polish. But if you were using a gold, um, actually this would be fine for a gold glitter, but if you're using, say, a silver glitter, then use a silver polish and so on and so forth. But um, you want to make this as neat as you can, but don't worry too much if it's not perfect. I have to say I, I kind of didn't place this very well on my nail if you see the original photo it looks much nicer on her nails because well I think they're squared off and um, I don't know I was thinking more about placement then and in this nail design you can see I have a lot more glitter on my tip than I do at the um, cuticle area of my nail but this is a demonstration video so it doesn't have to be perfect <laughs> but yes just filling in anywhere where I want the glitter to stick because this polish is going to be the only polish on the nail that has a tacky layer so the glitter is only going to stick to this um, bronze polish. So once I'm happy with that I pop it in the light and cure it for 30 seconds or obviously whatever your lamp needs. Now this is the glitter I'm using it's just a super fine craft glitter it's a holographic pinky rosy color and I'm patting that onto the tacky layer which I did let sit for 30 seconds once it had been in the light just to cool down and kind of develop its tacky layer then I'm patting on that glitter burnishing it in and I left this in real time because I wanted to show you how long I do actually spend burnishing in my glitters I kind of feel like I spend too long doing it but it works for me so I do it but I'm really burnishing in all of the glitter and trying to dust off as much excess glitter as possible. Then before curing that in place, I am going in, taking the hair off my nail, and I'm cleaning up the glitter around the cuticle because I want to have a nice neat cuticle. And then I'm going along the lines of where I painted that gel polish, the bronze polish up to, and just kind of scraping loose any glitter that comes over that line. This is the, the step that's going to give you that really crisp line. I'm pushing back any glitter that goes over the edge so that my line isn't a... It's not a glitter edge, it's the bronze polish is the edge of it. But because it's such a similar color to the glitter, you can't really tell that there isn't glitter. Well, there is glitter right the way to the edge, but... Yeah, I don't know if this makes any sense at all. But I'm just telling you what I do. Then I dust that off again and I cure it for 30 seconds because I feel like that kind of just glues that um, glitter into the tacky layer so that I don't get it to come off when I um, add on my top coat. So here I'm taking any final pieces off the pink area and again dusting before I go in and do my top coat. This is just a regular tacky top coat and you want to make sure you get right the way to the edges to seal in the glitter so then in the end it is a nice smooth nail. Now you can see because I spent so much time burnishing in, the, burnishing in the glitter and dusting off the excess, I have hardly any glitter that comes off into my brush or into the pink area of the nail. There are still a few pieces because it is a loose glitter so you're going to get bits like that. But 
as long as you burnish it and dust off all the excess that you can and then make sure to remove any pieces of glitter from that center portion before you cure it then you should be okay so once I've cured that oh before I cure it I make sure there's no glitter anywhere I don't want it to be and then once I am happy I cure it for the full 30 seconds or whatever your light requires and now this is an optional step. This is going in and reapplying another coat of pink to that center section. Here you can correct any lines um, that weren't quite straight enough or anywhere your glitter has come over. But to be honest, you shouldn't need this. But I will say that one thing that this step does do is it kind of fills in the little dip of where how do I explain this? Having the glitter on top of the pink kind of raises it up so there is sort of a raised area where the glitter is. So by putting in this layer of pink it kind of fills in that dip in the nail. It's not a dip, it's not a noticeable dip but there is a difference in the levels on the nail. So putting this pink in helps to smooth out the nail so that it's all one smooth piece rather than the glitter being raised and the pink being just you know a layer thinner does that make sense at all i'm hoping that you will be able to see that in the final segment of the video where i show you the side view of the nails but like i said you don't have to do this but i do think it gives it a more polished look in the end then i cured that and now the final top coat so for the second technique, I'm just going to rush through that because it's not my preferred technique and it's pretty much the same stuff but backwards. So I don't think you need to see that in um, real time. Um, so this is the second technique. Going in with your bronze polish first. I did two coats of that, fully cured. Go in with my glitter, burnish that in, clean up the cuticle, you know, everything that you would do for a full glitter nail. Um... I then cure that, then top coat, then cure the top coat. Now I'm going in and painting in the pink section. And yeah, I painted this section. It's not exactly the same shape as the other nail, but you get the idea. You will probably need to do two coats of your pink over the glitter to make sure that the glitter is not sparkling through, because I definitely did. Unless you've got a nicely pigmented pink, that you can get away with one coat. Doing it this method, I find that the lines are not as crisp. Um, and also, which you'll see in the side view, the pink is definitely raised off the glitter. So once I cured that, and then put the top coat on, and that's finished. So those are the two nails. My uh, pointer finger was with the first, me first method and my middle finger was the second method that I just quickly went through. I personally prefer the first method. Here you can see on the side it is relatively smooth. I hope you can see that it is pretty smooth. There is a slight change in the level of the nail but it's pretty smooth. Whereas I think with this one it's definitely to the touch you can definitely feel that pink is raised whereas with the other nail you can't so much feel any difference in the texture or anything like that but whatever one is easier for you I think like I said I personally prefer the first method because I feel like the lines are crisper but try both methods and see which one works best for you I hope you learned something from this video and I'm sorry it's a bit long but there were two methods to show you and I wanted to go through everything in depth and not just a super quick video. So if you have any questions or anything about this design or other designs you want me to um, break down please feel free to leave them in the comments or anywhere and um, make sure you check out that Pinterest link for this design that will be in the description box and uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and comment and do all those nice things thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video